Hey, YouTube. Uh. I know winter's officially here. It's officially spring, but man. Fuck this. I think what happens, I lost a bunch of weight. Like a person. <laughs> um, and uh, I can't handle the cold like I used to be able to. Which is funny too because if it's in the, you know, in the summertime. Man, I love the sun and all that. And, like people will come here from away and say, oh man, this is nothing. You should try down where I'm from. Golf tee cleaning up the basement. Some old dead guy used to own the house. Thought I put it to use. Today, smoking my Eric Stockaby. Wonderful pipe. Probably by far my favorite. Doesn't gurgle quarter bend. Huge. It's got a big draft hole. That's why it doesn't gurgle. Um, doesn't gurgle. Quarter bend. Um, got a fair size bowl. Just put the alcohol brush to her. So it's my first smoke. And I'm smoking uh, Dunhill uh, 965. So what I'm trying to do is I'm revisiting um, tobaccos. This has been sitting on my shelf for a while. Rehydrated it. Trying to see what I think of them. Um, your tastes, not just me, but I think everybody is a as a pipe smoker your tastes change and I don't think it has to do with just tobacco I think that happens with everything in life um, sometimes things change quicker than other others you know let's say your taste in music your taste in cars your taste in food your taste in women <laughs> hey it just wouldn't be me if I did something inappropriate you know um, anyway <laughs> But yeah. So, this was a tobacco that um, when I was into my, um, I was hard, well, I still am, like a big English fan, but I was smoking a certain, a specific type of English that I would call leathery or uh, leathery or oily creosote, that, like the 10 Russians and, and uh, Vulcan mixture from Gowith and Hoggart. And, Vulcan Flake from Sam Gaweth. Plum Pudding, which I still enjoy. I have no 10 Russians. I need to get some tobacco. And when I tried this this tobacco, I said, I, I find it too cigarette because it didn't have enough uh, Latakia in it. Or Latakia. If you're from Latakia, that would be called Latakia. So it didn't have enough uh, Latakia in it, so I kind of didn't. Uh, it reminded me of cigarettes because of the, the Virginia. I would consider this a more vir um, Virginia forward English blend. To me, that's my own opinion. Um, but I've been smoking a lot of the Cuban cigarolos over the winter. Too damn cold to sit outside. Almost too damn cold to be sitting out here now. Got the sun in my face, so that helps. But uh, I think my point is, it, I'm trying to revisit some of these tobaccos to see, because my palate has changed and my smoking style has changed. I've, I've slowed down. I started smoking my tobacco wetter. 
I used to dry the shit out of it. Because I smoke too fast. It would help with the gurgle. Now, I don't know, maybe I've just learned to pack it looser. Master to tamp. I usually have uh, I usually have roommates that stay with me. I live by myself, so and uh, the postman. <coughs> um, yeah, I always have or usually have a roommate staying with me. Helps. I usually, you know, it's always somebody I know though who needs a place to stay. And I'm helping them; they help me, you know. So anyway, I got him. Try a pipe with me the other day. I wish I would have videotaped it or, you know, recorded it, made a video, but probably not. It was really funny and awkward watching them trying to, you know, not knowing what to do. It was really funny. Just to show them how to retro, I had to teach them how to retro hail. I take it for granted. I'm like, I don't know, just push it out your nose, man. It's like, you know, just fill your mouth up with smoke, push your tongue forward, and exhale through your nose. I think that's how you do it. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, strong. Um, so yeah, I got him to try. I pulled out some old, um, some Frog Morton that I had. He seemed to enjoy it, but he definitely wasn't smoking the pipe right. And that's just something that comes with practice. So even myself, myself, you guys, you gals. We all pack our pipes different. And everybody says you got to do the one, two, three method. Well, sometimes it only takes me twice. <laughs> you know. And this tobacco, I rehydrated it, so it was a little, still a little bit too dry, which is weird considering how I used to like it dry. Now I don't like it super dry. I like it moist. So what I do is I pack the pipe and then I put my mouth over the bowl. I'm not going to do it now. It's lit. Put my mouth over the bowl and then I exhale through the bowl out this way and just the moisture from my breath rehydrates it you can't do it with crispy dry tobacco but just if you're just a little bit dry you know just to get a little extra moisture in it my friend was over um was visiting she's from england her and her daughter were over they had a dry tobacco she's like the best way to rehydrate i'm going to try my english accent it's a potato. Or a potato. What did she say? I don't forget how she said it, but I laughed. She's trying to speak like us, and it's comical. It's like, no. <laughs> to speak normal. Sort of like me, like I just did. But anyway, um, put a potato. No, put a potato. I have one of them buttons, you know. I use them sometimes, but seriously. You just take, I just take a little piece of paper towel and I wet it and I wring it out and I throw it in a jar, put the lid on, come back the next day, it's fine. It doesn't go moldy, it doesn't taste funny. I don't know, man, like if your water's that toxic that it's going to make shit go moldy, holy crap. It wasn't blessed by the rabbi. But now I'm revisiting this, so I've been doing it with different tobaccos, and I'm actually enjoying them now. So this is a type of English that I wasn't really into. See, what's happening is I'm just being careful with my money now, so I'm not going out and buying tobacco like crazy. So I got a shitload of tobacco open, so I'm going to smoke it. So that's what I'm doing. Like, yeah, you know, you can't buy Frog Morton anymore. Well, I can get some Frog Morton down locally here if I want to pay 50 bucks Canadian for, not just a regular price, 40, 45, 50 bucks Canadian for 50 grams of pipe tobacco. Fuck that. And I don't like it that much anyway. I did, but then my flavor's changed, you know. But it's too bad McClellan shut down. I'm sure he had a wide variety of tobaccos. I'm sure if I would have tried them all, I would have said, oh, I like this one and this one. But there's... There's enough tobacco companies out there to keep me happy as a pipe smoker. I enjoy smoking a pipe. You'd think that I'd be into it hardcore. 
I only own about 12 pipes. This is probably the fanciest, most expensive pipe I own. And I bought it retail at my local tobacco shop, 150 year old tobacco shop, Sieverts. I think I said the guy recognized me. He's like, hey man, you're Nova Piper. I remember I talked to him before about it. Like, hey man, yeah, cool. So I plug you guys sometimes. So there's a plug. Seaverts Limited. Barrington Street, Halifax. Stop in. Say Nova Piper sent me. <laughs> anyway, I bought this from them. Um, and yeah, so I paid fair amount of money for it, but fair amount for me, you know, but yeah, me and my buddies smoke cobs, I always had a cob kicking around, let's see, I think the cigars, um, I tried, uh, in the cigars, I tried the, uh, my favorite is the Monte Cristo's Peritos. Um, and the Guantan Guantanamera, they got a, they're a little, a little bit stronger, they're a little bit cheaper, very similar flavor. I had some Filipino cigars, they were poorly made, but they weren't too bad, they were fairly mild. And I smoke them right down to the nub like that too. So anyway, the, 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 the Good quality cigar tobacco, that's what I'm smoking. I was enjoying it. But I had to smoke them slowly because there's way too much nicotine, even in just a little cigarolo. So I think it got me over that, it, it got me accustomed to a different flavor leaf. So now I can smoke this, and I say this all the time, where I'm an ex-smoker, Canadian cigarettes are made from Virginia tobacco. So most Virginia tobaccos that I smoke, I've tried the Red Virginia too, um, but most of the Virginia tobaccos I smoke, they just remind me of cigarettes. I don't enjoy them. It's not a, a happy flavor for me. Straight Virginia. So I got lots of I got lots of Virginia. Mississippi River is good. I think some Dunhill Flake, it was just, or you know, I think it was just called Dunhill Flake. So I'm starting to get an appreciation for the Dunhill blends now, where before I didn't. So as pipe smokers, regardless if you're new or you're a veteran, if you've been at it for a long time, you know, if you've got like tumors on your lips because you're smoking too much. The teeth are all rotten and black. Try different, you know, oh, I don't like that tobacco. We'll try it. You might like it now. Try a bowl. That's why I wish we had sort of a pipe club around where I live, where you could just like take a jar of tobacco with you and put it on the table. A bunch of guys sit around and you all try some different tobaccos. We won't have that here. Can't smoke in public. Tobacco all needs to be hidden. Got to think of the children. Full of warning labels. Government's right there to reap the benefits, though. Let me tell you. They tax your income. Tax your earnings. And they tax everything you buy. Yeah. Can't smoke in public. Can't even smoke on the street. If I go out on the sidewalk with this, I'm breaking the law. In my city. It's a, it's a it's a municipal law and it's stupid. I can't sit out in the we got a beautiful waterfront. I can't sit on the waterfront and enjoy a pipe, watch the ships. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Anyway, so yeah, I'm revisiting this tobacco. It's Dunhill 965. Um, I didn't really like it when I first tried it, and so now I just got another bowl going here, and it's actually, I don't know if, it's, if the tobacco matured or if I matured. I doubt it if I did. 
That ain't never gonna happen. I'm always gonna be a mind of a 12 year old. But, uh, yeah. I'm enjoying it much more than I used to. Anyway, thanks for watching. There you go.